another vlog. I'm spending the last few days of 2020 in the Blue Mountains and just spending a few very peaceful, quiet days in the country. I'm staying at a few very cozy and lovely Airbnbs and I thought I would spend these last few days with you guys um, for a very peaceful and relaxing vlog before 2021, which is crazy to say out loud. If I look ultra tired in this vlog, just know that I'm using my nicer camera and it kind of picks up everything um, in a little bit more detail. I want to firstly give you a quick tour. Excuse the fact that I've made a bit of a mess everywhere. This Airbnb actually had this um, iMac here, which is nice. I haven't used it at all. I've just been using my little laptop here. I've had my mic and some setup because I do all of my editing at night once I've come home after dinner. The bedroom is absolutely stunning. Um, you can probably tell but there's a lot of beautiful natural light that comes in and I also love all the hanging lights in this little cottage. I get super excited when I see like an electric blanket and there was one here last night and it was glorious. Especially because it is so cold here. We actually have the heater on out there um, and it's summer in Australia. I actually have just basically never used a heater. Um, so that's how cold it is. I woke up this morning and I was actually kind of missing my room and my home and that is something that I'm actually like super proud about um, something about 2020 that I actually really like which is that I feel like I've spent a lot more time and effort in making my, my space feel more cozy and more warm um, so the fact that I'm actually at a beautiful Airbnb and missing home, I feel like is a little bit of an achievement. When I travel, and I do travel quite a bit, I like to bring my own pillowcases, um, and usually I just bring whatever that is clean and fresh. But lately when I've been traveling, lately like this time and then my last little trip, I've been bringing these lily silk, silk pillowcases. I slept on this one yesterday and they do just feel really lovely. They're meant to be very beneficial for your skin and your hair. I think it's meant to make your hair less tangly and cause less wrinkles in the skin because it is so soft and, you know, lovely. It doesn't really tug on anything, which is nice. This little part of the video is sponsored by Lily Silk and they just do the most gorgeous silk pieces. You guys will know that I harp on a lot about silk and it being such a luxurious fabric. I feel like these pillowcases in the future will be my like holiday pillowcases which I pretty much just bring with me when I stay at like hotels and Airbnbs. And it is nice to kind of bring something that makes you feel really comfortable when you're staying somewhere new. Anyways, um, I also have a couple more pieces to share with you. The weather here is quite unpredictable. It's technically 27 degrees Celsius. But last night was so incredibly cold that I'm kind of doubting that. Um, but in the daytime, because it does look sunny and warm, I might be wearing this silk cami today. So this one is again from Lily Silk and it is a really lovely mulberry silk material. You guys will know I have a couple of silk camis and silk slip dresses in my wardrobe and they're some of my most worn go-to basics. And this one has a little bit of a cow neck which I think is really cute. Um, and just kind of mixes things up a little bit. So I'm gonna pop this on in a moment. And I also decided to try out one of their really lovely cashmere sweaters. This is a light to medium weight cashmere sweater. It has a turtleneck and it's in this really beautiful taupe color. This is a really beautiful wardrobe classic that I will basically wear as a layering piece. So I think most of the time I'll wear it so then the turtleneck is poking out and then have a little bit of a cardigan worn slightly open with the knit. So once it gets cooler tonight or even tomorrow, I'll pop this on to show you. Before I pop on the silk cami, I'm just going to quickly show you what I've been wearing this morning. Both of these pieces were from the Doen sale that occurred recently. A while ago, I sold my Vivette nightgown um, because 
it was just a little bit too extravagant for me. It was like a white long nightgown, which is not really the kind of thing that I actually wear around the place. Um, so I swapped it out for this one. This one is a lot sheerer, it's a lot lighter and shorter, which just makes it a lot more wearable, um, I feel like, for my lifestyle. One of the questions I've received the most lately um, is about this palm knit and how I've been getting along with it. So I'm actually wearing it today, I'm wearing it over the next few days, and I'll give you a little bit of an update as we go. Um, it is cute though. So I'm wearing the Lily Silk Cami with this Cezanne skirt. You guys probably know the skirt well if you've seen my videos before. Um, but it's still one of my favourites, I think it's so gorgeous. And I just have one, and I also have a big straw bag. Um, the straw bag carries a lot of my camera equipment and, you know, my sweater, whatnot. I also have a smaller bag inside the big bag, which is what I'll probably take with me um, when I am walking around. I also brought with me a Gaspar knit. It is so bright um, that I really just can barely see when I'm facing this way. We are going to head off now to Katoomba and just pop by a bakery, um, get a couple of pastries and coffee and um, head over to the Mayfield Gardens which we're checking out today. We went to a bakery called Black Cockatoo Bakery and we just got two of their pastries. Remember when I was talking about the weather? Well, today was so incredibly warm. I am honestly just very sunburnt um, and I wasn't expecting it at all, which is why I didn't really put sunscreen on my shoulders. We were literally just going to take a walk around the gardens. Um, but yeah, the sun was really, really strong today, which happens a lot in Australia, so I probably should have known. So I'm just gonna take like a really cold shower, drink lots of water and stay away from the sun for the rest for the next few days, which actually won't be a problem because I just checked the forecast and I think it's raining the next couple of days, which honestly, I don't really mind. I kind of want to be like super cozy in the cottage and just chill as well. So um, it is 4.40 now and I'm just gonna do a little bit of work and then go grab some pizza for dinner. I kind of plan on doing work till about maybe eight or nine o'clock tonight, after which I'll probably just watch some Netflix and chillax. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to edit my winter lookbook, which you guys probably will have seen by the time I have this video up. Good morning everyone, we're checking out of this cottage today and before we do so, we're just gonna go get some breakfast. There is a really popular pie shop at Lura, I think it's called the Bakehouse on Wentworth. So we're gonna get a couple of pies and coffee and then just do a little bit of packing up today. It is back to sweater weather and I'll show you my outfit in a moment but I basically have two sweaters on because it's quite cold. It 
It was super cold when I went to grab breakfast in the morning. So I have that Lily Seal cashmere sweater, a Cezanne knit over the top, which I'll probably take off very soon, especially when I head off to um, a little bit of a walk later. I have on the have on the Frankie jeans, um, which I love. And I feel like it will look better with something tucked in because then you can see the waistline a little bit more. So yeah, I might tuck it into my jeans. I popped on my Converse for a bit of walking today and then just a Chloe Daryl bag. For my jewelry, I have on the Majuri pearl earring. I have on this Monica Vinader ring and then another little Majuri band and another Majuri band. I have just I've just checked into cottage number two and it is stunning. It is so nice. If I ever had a dream house, I think it would look something like this. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what it looks like. I think I mentioned before, but it's going to be a rainy few days, so I am planning to spend a lot more time at this cottage and just kind of cozy up and relax a little bit more. This is the amazing living room. I've just turned all the lights on because it is getting a little bit dark in here. Um, a very dreamy fireplace. How lovely does that look? And I'm just going to show you the bedroom. So this is my bedroom. Like really nice vintage touches. And it's also got a really nice view of the garden. There is a ginormous garden at the back which is really nice. I think it'll be nice for breakfast or just for sitting around and reading in. I'll show you the garden tomorrow, hopefully when the weather is a little bit better. But this is it. Hi everyone, I'm just about to head off and go get some breakfast. Probably just another like pastry and coffee kind of thing. Um, cause we don't really want to have like a full cafe breakfast, if that makes sense. We just want something easy and light. Well, you know, light as in not a lot of food. I mean, pastry is not light. But before I go, I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit today because I quite like the combo. It's super dark in here, so I'm sorry if the footage is a bit grainy. I tucked my um, Doewen nightgown into my jeans. I really like this nightgown because it is very lightweight, so you can tuck it in without much like bulkiness around the waistline, which is nice. It is just quite versatile because you can obviously wear it at home, but when you tuck it in, it becomes a little bit less she and a little bit more wearable for outside, which is nice. Um, so I'm starting with this layer, and then I've just popped on my Cezanne James knit. I was editing my winter lookbook yesterday, well, I was uploading um, and creating all the links for my for the items shown and I saw that this is currently out of stock but they do have a very similar one on Farfetch it's like a navy knit with white stripes but it's almost exactly the same I'm also popping on this coat layer and it's 15 degrees Celsius today which to me, um, living in Sydney and in Australia is winter weather so I'm also popping on this coat because we're gonna go um, to the Three Sisters Blue Mountains area where it just is a little bit windy, a little bit cold. Um, and this is the outfit. And I'm just finishing off the outfit with this Chloe Daryl bag. And I've also got my Converse shoes on. This is one of those outfits where nothing really matches but I kind of just really like how thrown together it is. It is a bit of a mishmash of different colors. Um, but I like it. For anyone who thinks it's crazy to bring, you know, a coat or a summer holiday, I didn't actually bring this to wear, it just so happens that I can wear it today. But I brought it because I knew it would be raining and I figured while it rained I could film a little bit of a curated coat review, which you guys will probably see in the next video. I'm gonna head off now and hopefully 
it will stop raining for a few minutes where I can kind of show you the full outfit outside. We're sitting out on our little terrace area and just gonna have a few pastries from the same bakery we went to yesterday. Um, I just wanna show you the garden. Hey guys, I didn't really get a chance to vlog very much yesterday because it's been raining as you can probably tell um, So we just had a few lazy days in watching Netflix and chilling to be honest We headed back to see the mountains. Um, it was super foggy as you'll see in the clips We got a nice loaf of bread which I am excited to dig into at home um, But other than that, we're just gonna start making our way home and we checked out the Blue Mountains Culture Center, which was actually quite nice. Um, it was just like a photography exhibition as well as an exhibition specifically about this mountain area after it was listed by UNESCO. Hello everyone, today is the 4th of January um, and the last few days have just flown by. I just took a nice shower this morning and I am using this new shower gel which smells so good. Um, it is the Lush shower gel, it's the olive branch which I feel like is a very popular one, it's been around for many years and I love that it lingers on the skin and it's just like such a warm, beautiful scent. Um, it says citrus notes and reassuring warmth. Okay, so there you go. And it's just, it's just lovely. It's such a Lush scent. I feel like when you walk into Lush, this is what you smell. But you know, obviously less overpowering. It is amazing and I kind of got this for myself as a bit of a, as a bit of a treat for the new year. Excuse me while I try to untangle this mess of a hair. Um, today is my last day of holiday before going back to work tomorrow. So there's a couple of things that I want to get done today and I thought I would vlog it and also kind of finish off this vlog finish off a few of the things that I said I would talk about. So, um, I thought I would give you a quick review of this Do Wen nightgown. And I've just, the name of it has suddenly escaped me, so I'll just put it up on the screen. It has been really lovely to wear this nightgown over the last couple of days, weeks. And I just think because it's so light of a material, it makes it super comfortable. Um, because you never feel like there's too much material bunching up around you as you sleep. It is very sheer, so if you're thinking you could wear it at home and then also wear it as a sundress, I feel like you'll be pushing it a little bit. You definitely will need a slip underneath because it's very sheer. Um, I think as a top it's okay, you can tuck it into a skirt, tuck it into jeans because when you gather the material, obviously it becomes a little bit more wearable. I am still a very big fan of this just as like a home sleep dress because it is so comfortable and so lovely. Um, and I would wear it sometimes, I think, as a top tucked into jeans like I did on my trip. It seems like a very weird thing to do, but I, I do think it actually works okay. Anyways, um, when, with the palm knit, let me just go grab it. I got this in the sale for 30% off and it still costs, you know, a bit of a fortune, let's be real. And I don't know if I can actually recommend it to you guys. It is the softest, most comfortable, warmest sweater. But I just think the style of it is a little bit too bulky for my liking. It's not oversized, and I love oversized things. It is just bulky in terms of how thick the wool is, and also the pom-poms definitely add to the bulk of it. The shape of it, like through the arms, through the shoulders, through the body, actually fits me really well. Like it does fit quite tightly. Um, it's just more the fabric that makes me look a little bit like a snowman, to be honest. It's so fun to look at, and I actually do love wearing it still. Um, just for the price of it, I'm not sure if it's something that I can actually 
you know, say I recommend because it's not it's not versatile. Let's be real, this isn't a versatile piece. The quality is like 10 out of 10, absolutely perfect. So warm, so cozy. There is so much wool involved in this sweater. So I'm not even mad about the price point. It's just there's so much wool um, that I totally understand why it is so expensive. Not to mention that it is hand knit and you've obviously got like a little bit of information on the name of the person who knit it. I think it came with a little card as well. And it is made from a very lovely composition. I just used a little bit of this Muji light toning water. And I also purchased recently a bottle of this Apostles Skin Brightening Serum from Antipodes. This is probably my 10th bottle of this. I kind of use it on and off and I've been using it on and off for about 5-6 years. It is a water-based serum and it's meant to be very beneficial for brightening the skin. I want to stress it's not about like lightening your skin or anything like that, that's crazy. Um, it's just about brightening my skin up, making it look more healthy. And also, I have a lot of darker pigmentation on my skin, um, a lot of acne scarring. So I kind of just want to brighten that up a little bit so my skin doesn't feel as uneven. I really like that this is really light of a serum, obviously being water-based, and it just feels very nice on the skin. It kind of disappears really quickly as well. A little bit of my Jingzing eye cream from Origins. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't really had a chance to set proper New Year's goals this year. Like, I have a few in mind, but I haven't done my typical thing of writing a list and, you know, creating a date where I want to achieve things. But this year, because it's quite unpredictable, I haven't done my usual thing. So I thought I would share with you some of my goals in case it kind of inspires some of yours, um, but there's not that many. This is a year that I want to become a much better driver. So I can drive, I have my license, and I can pretty much go where I need to go. Um, but I do have to like look at maps beforehand. I don't feel the most confident on the road. And I would just love to improve that and be the kind of person that just doesn't need to look at a map, just puts it on the GPS and goes, and can go on any route available. Which I don't really do right now. Right now I check certain routes and I prefer certain routes. So yeah, I want to become a better driver this year. And what else? And then I have some of the generic things, like I want to be drinking, you know, eight cups of water. I want to do more exercise. In terms of food and diet, even though I do treat myself to like something sweet every so often, I would say I'm pretty healthy. Like the meals that I don't show are actually very like vegetarian, vegetable heavy and healthy. I'm not a vegetarian, I do eat meat, just not in huge quantities. I also have a lot of YouTube and like social media goals um, in terms of content I would like to do. I do feel like this year, because I've spent a lot of time at home, I have learned a lot of new editing things. I'm definitely still not where you know I want to be, but it is it has gotten better, so I just want that to continue in 2021. I also want to film more and just basically do more on social media as well. I know there are like days where I feel like I just go missing um, and I'd love to be able to share a bit more. I don't think sharing is something that comes that naturally to me. Like I would be happy to share anything, but it just doesn't, when something happens, it doesn't come naturally for me to share it with on social media. So yeah, I would like to get better at that. So yesterday we went to Chatswood and we got some of these Japanese pancakes from the Graham Cafe. So we've got two of the matcha pancakes. We have a pistachio and one of the classics. I've just laid out on the bed what I'm going to wear today. It's actually pretty much an exact repeat of yesterday's outfit. But we've just got this little end of a stories top, pair of peony shorts. These are in like a lovely linen. And then I'm also reaching for this APC bag, which I reached for yesterday and I just can't be bothered to change.
I have been obsessed with rings lately and I'm just going to create a little ring stack with some of these very dainty rings. And I've got a few vintage options here which I've pulled out to wear today. So firstly, I'm going to go for this little opal ring. This ring is actually from the Victorian era, so it has been around for quite some time and it's an antique. There's three little opals on this ring and it's got really nice colour to them. I always pretty much wear it with this stacking ring and this one is from Majuri. Just a very simple beaded band. So I have these two usually on the ring finger here. And then um, I always have this band. This is the sculpture band from Majuri. I've just been wearing this most days because it's very simple. And I have it on the ring finger on the other hand. And then I also like to put another ring on the pointer finger. So usually I've been wearing this Monica Veneta ring. So it would look something like this. Today I'm thinking about going to the jeweler and getting this particular ring resized. This is another vintage ring and I think this is from the early 80s. This ruby ring is actually um, my mum's and she got it from my grandma so it's been around for a long time and it does feel very special because of that. So this is what the full outfit looks like. It's a very casual day today and I'm literally heading out to a very local cafe with some friends for lunch. Um, we do a yearly meetup and we haven't seen each other in forever because of everything that's happening. So I'm really excited. We have a lot to catch up on. And this is the outfit. It's very cute, very casual. I just had the absolute best lunch with some of my friends and it was so lovely. It's one of those lunches where you can just be like 100% chill, be yourself and yeah, it was really really nice. So um, I am going to go out now, um, just run some errands like car things and then do the walk I talked about. It is so humid today, um, I talk a lot about weather so actually I'm going to shut up about it. But yeah, I'm going to run out now and get some errands done. I decided on a whim to get my nails done and they look something like this. They're just a white with a gold glitter if you can see and I just think they're super sparkly and pretty. It's probably been a year since I've actually gotten my nails done. I'm not sure but it feels like it's been a year and it's a good feeling. Just had an early dinner and the weather looks pretty decent outside. It's been raining but I think I'm gonna go for a walk. It takes about 40 minutes to do kind of a round walk to the park and back. So that will be my little bit of exercise today. <music> 45 minutes later, I am back. We walked for 45 minutes basically, just like around the block a little bit. Um, and we were walking the whole time as fast as we could, you know, possibly walk or we were capable of walking. And it feels really good actually. I am quite sweaty at this point. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've felt this way. I have been so terrible with exercise. My exercise lately has been walking up and down stairs a couple of times a day and that's it. So I've been really terrible, but I feel like this is a good start. It was actually quite nice and I've never done... I don't think I've ever set myself exercise goals to be honest. I know it's a very common resolution, but I don't think it's something that I've done in the past. So. Yeah, I'm hoping to do this twice a week, so two times a week I want to do like a 45 to 1 hour walk. And then the other days, I've been toying with the idea of getting an exercise bike. I might wait until this new year craze has gone down and then get one second hand. So that is a possibility because I feel like with an exercise bike I can kind of watch Netflix while I exercise. So kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm not looking for like a high tech or fancy exercise bike. Just your really simple one. Because I used to do a spin class and I mean I did find it enjoyable enough. I'm deciding whether I want to take a bath tonight or just a quick shower. I think I just a shower today. I did pick up a few bath products the other day which I'm actually really excited to use. I feel like it doesn't create a big mess but I'm going to try and show you. Um, I purchased a bath bomb and it's called Deep Sleep. So as the name would suggest, it's something you use before bedtime and it's meant to be 
very relaxing, calm you for a good night's sleep. So lots of lavender and chamomile. It smells lovely and I love that it comes in this mesh so it catches all of the stuff that comes out of the bath bomb because cleaning up after a bath is not relaxing at all so I do appreciate this little net. And then um, the next one is the Lush Sex Bomb which has a very jasmine scent and it's just very very lovely. I always get this one because I love the smell of jasmine and this is perfect. Also turns the water a pinky colour which is very pretty as well. So I got two of each, one for me, one for my mum. But maybe that's a tomorrow, tomorrow thing. I actually think I'm going to sign off the vlog here. I hope you guys are all having a very lovely start to your year. And I guess I'll see you in a few days. Bye.